have a pretty interesting video for you guys today. We're gonna check out Pin Brewing. A special shout out to my friend Dwight for setting this all up. Are you friend of Dwight's or something? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Just I'm Willie. Make yourself at home. Whatever you need, just go for it. Hi. Hi. Are you here to do video? Have you been over there yet? Here, we get Ben on the line by himself. I got this truck. It's inevitable. We'll have a uh, truck that will show up, and now we're doing the bottom line. Come on, Eric. Dwight, how's it going, man? We're well. Thanks for setting this up. My staff takes the raw ingredients that I order and turns them into the delicious product that goes out to the discerning masses. This is one of our fermentation cellars and we'll get pumped into one of these tanks. Then we'll cool the tanks down. If you look at uh, tank two or tank six there, you'll see that ice bands around it. That'll drop that beer down to about 35 degrees. Most of that yeast will then settle out of suspension or flocculate, we would call it, or precipitate. Then that beer is sent downstairs to the lager cellar where it'll mature. It'll sit down there anywhere from one week to six months, depending on what style of beer we're making. So what was that? from uh, the tank being cleaned. So it was uh, caustic detergent, or sodium hydroxide, and all of the protonaceous buildup on the side of the tank that it's cleaned. My favorite beers are Penn Gold. I love the Penn Pilsner, but um, the fall beers are my absolute favorite. Yeah, I, I love Penn Brewery. It's, it's great. Born and raised on the north side, I've been coming here since I was 14. I did have a quick question. What's that? Who's the actor? He's a famous actor, I forget his name. <laughs> What's behind that door? It's freezing in here. What did you just do to that cooler? I, uh... I don't know. What did I just do? Locked? Christopher Walken? <laughs> <laughs> so, before the advent of refrigeration, they would build these caves, and as you can see, the cinder block wall back there was a m very modern addition that was just put in very recently. So the stadium sit right over there and if the Pirates score or on 4th of July, light up night. This is a really, it really is one of the best places in the city in my opinion to, uh, to see everything. I always love that feeling when you got on elevators and you <laughs> have that roller coaster feeling. <laughs> your urine somewhere around your brain, yes. <laughs> All right, so where are we going right now? So we're going into some of the other caves. Behind the scenes. Hey, Bill, you in? So these are stashed, like I said, about a quarter mile back all throughout this mountainside. You can see there's the water dripping. That actually... The water would come down, seep through all the limestone and everything, and through all the rock, and would keep the moisture and the humidity up in these caves. By keeping that humidity up, it would actually allow them to get a little bit colder than it would if it was arid. It's fairly chilly in here right now. I mean, other than the fact that you're opened up to, uh... Our visit to Penn Brewing. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>